I'm a swimming caddis pupa, what I'll be tying. It's probably one of my favorite flies to fish. Doesn't matter whether it's in a stream, river, lake, beaver pond, high mountain lake, just about wherever I fish, this is probably the most productive fly act that I've ever come up with. And, I like to, and it's called the bead diving caddis. It, I mean, it, it doesn't matter how you fish this thing, whether you fish it as a nymph with additional weight or sw swimming it like you would a wet fly down in a cross or even in a lake using a full sinking line. There's just no wrong way to fish this thing. What the body is out of underneath here is turkey biot. This wing is out of medallion sheeting. The underwing is out of crystal seal. And of course we have a bead for our thorax area. We have some partridge legs in here. And then we have some bets tailing fibers for a t antennas. And then we use some f super fine dubbing or you can use possum if you want for the head area. So let's tie one up. First thing we're going to need to do is grab a bead. Since this is a tan colored one, we're going to use a gold bead. And we'll just thread this onto our hook. It's nice with these tapered beads. We'll thread it on with the small end of the hole. Then we add the larger gap towards the back. Now we're ready to attach our thread. Then we get our thread on here and right back onto the bend a little bit. Take our thread off. Now we're going to put on our turkey biot. So we'll pull one of these off. Here again we're going to want that fuzzy rib body so I have the more transparent or translucent side to my right. I tie it in tip first. Since we're going to want a little bit bulkier body, we can add some dubbing here. And if you have a hard time handling dubbing, what helps a lot is if you add a little wax to your fingers. And then you can just dub it on there real tight. That's the nice thing about this super fine yep. You can just about sculpt any type of fly you want with it. Then you just come in and start to form a nice tapered underbody. You don't want to come all the way forward because we have to push that bead back some. Just like so. Now we're ready to attach our hackle pliers. And then we'll just wrap this biot forward. Just making sure it's nice and evenly wrapped. Let me get up here a little bit, and then we're ready to tie it off. Come in and snip off the excess. Now we're ready for our underwing, or crystal seal. Let me shift a few things around here so I can find it. There it is. So what I like to do just leave it in the bag itself just pull out a little bit of it don't need a whole lot just like so and I kind of pinch it in the middle so I have some here and some there and just lay it on here and tie it down and I have some in the back and out over the eye and I just come in and fold it all back and then wrap down just like so now we're ready to take our thread off, just for a minute anyway. Then we're going to slide that bead 
right back over everything. That hides everything you where you just tied off everything. Then we'll reattach our thread in front of it. Now we're ready to add some wings to it. And here again we're going to use the medallion sheeting. Then we grab that and we'll just cut a strip of it. For the tan caddis, I'll use the tan or model brown color. And for olives, I'll use the medium done color. Now to tie this wing in, we're going to lay it right in front of the bead. We're just going to figure eight it right on here. And then pull on it. What we're trying to do is get that nice little tie-in point right here. Now if you have trouble doing that, let me take this back off. I'm going to show you another little trick. Is before you tie it in, just grab it in the middle. Just take, kind of pinch it, pull, and twist. That way you have that nice little tie-in area. It just makes, makes it a lot easier for you to tie it in. And again, pull on both sides so you have equal tensions on both of them. Then you just lay them along the side and tie them down. Do a few wraps there. Now to trim this fly, what I'm going to do is start at the eye of the hook and just stroke all the material, the underwing and the winging material, straight back. Then I'll come in at approximately a 45 degree angle and cut it. And as you can notice, I cut it quite a bit longer than the hook shank. And that's because if you look at a natural, the bodies are actually actually a lot shorter than the wings themselves. So by making it a little bit longer, it makes it look just that much more like the natural. Now what we'll do is we'll twist it a little bit and just round off those edges a little bit. Now that we have our wing in here, now we can add some legs. For the legs what we'll be using is some partridge. And if you don't have partridge, you just want to use some kind of a soft tackle. So we'll pull off a partridge feather here. Now when I tie it in, what I do is I just kind of take my scissors, push, push into my finger a little bit, not hard enough to where I'm going to draw any blood or anything. But then I just snip it out. And then I have that nice little V in there. So I'll trim, pull back all this fuzzy stuff. And I kind of group it together a little bit. I'm just going to tie it in on the underside of the fly. Just hold it there and wrap your thread and then cinch down on it. And we can trim off our excess. And then take several more wraps to make sure it's tied in there nice and good. Next thing we're going to do is tie in our antennas. And for that, what we're going to be using is Betts' tailing fibers. It's not only great tailing material, it's also great for antennas on your caddis. So we're going to select two of these, pull them off, I'm going to grab them by the tips and I'll hold that up right by the eye. Now I have the base or butt section of the tailing fibers at the back of the fly. Now I'm going to measure it so it's a little bit longer than the wings, grab it with my left hand, now I'll bring it forward, tie it right behind the eye. Tie it down and trim off our excess. Now we have the tips of the antennas out over the eye. Now we're going to add some dubbing, some, some of this super fine. And to begin with, we're going to wrap right in front of that bead and build it up just a little bit. 
Now we're going to take an antenna, pull it back along the side away from us, tie it down, we'll do the same thing on the side towards us. And then we'll add some more dubbing so we can finish, finish off the fly. Make sure we have a nice neat little head here. Just like so. Now we can whip finish it off. Just like that and we'll take off our thread. And there you have it. The bead diving caddis. And you can just see how it sparkles and shines so you can imagine what it's going to do in the water. And what's really fun to do, especially on lakes, is to string two or three of them together and strip them through and it looks like some cowbells going through the water.